baller if you want your money. Uh. 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 Check it out. Go grab a box of cereal so you can go up the video and after it. Hit that like button plus make me a baby muffin. I must forgot. Go for trigger and if you do go grab a box of snakes. I am very controversial. I mean, look at man, I happen to do my man a pair of shit. That's it. I'm not really a, um, a rapper, you know. I'm more of a beatboxer. So, I really got nothing else to say. So, enjoy the video. Peace. Wait a minute. Come on, Spidey. Figure it out. Wait a minute. <sighs> really? That's not the real Liz Anya. Unless, what if she's a real person in this universe now? <sighs> what? But, what? What has just happened? Liz Anya from That's a Raven has come back to Raven's home. However, she's not dressed by Raven somewhat. Wait, I couldn't tell. Maybe because they were in the same shot. Like, maybe they did some CGI. Like, they was able to get them in the same shot. But, wait, what? She's a real person now? So, I was thinking, like, as I saw this, that what if she was a real person back in the, um, That's a Raven episode? However, she wasn't really famous. Like, she, let's just say she was known by 10 people. And, but, by, as time goes on, so by Raven's home now, she's famous. But then uh, um brings it up. Why does he look like um Raven Baxter? Why does he look like Chelsea Daniels? But then he's like say, of course he's a real person now because um that third person um doesn't look like the guy who's gonna be mentioned. So I hope. Uh, so I'm assuming they're gonna come back in season two, whether for a cameo or one episode. Um. I would just have to say, this episode is the best one. And this has to be my highest grade on all of them. I give this episode a 8.5 out of 10. 85 out of 100. I give it a B. And after that season one finale, I look forward. Because a part of this episode is that Raven and her son have a vision. Remember that episode in um, That's a Raven, Double Vision, where she gave a hug and their visions became stronger? How would, I think this would be some kind of difference since their mother and son and that other couple were like lovers, you know? Boyfriend and girlfriend, should I say. But, so let's see more of the Double Vision next season. And by the way, I will probably do a What I Want in Season 2. And by the way, they mentioned the Chill Girl. So another thing that's happening in season two is like she's gonna she's gonna go back to the cheer girl because she got fired um, from the woman. I never really, I always forget her name. I didn't really care about her. Even even the assistant, I didn't care about her. But she here's how you start season two. She's gonna walk up to the cheer girl. Say, oh, I haven't been here in years. And then she's gonna go outside. You're gonna see the dad, the mom, and probably. Somebody who should be mentioned. No, I'm just kidding. You'll probably see Corey there. Who's not, who has a different job, probably. He's having a different job, but he still works there every once in a while. Because it's, this is family. This is our legacy. But, yeah. Um, Nia was absent from this episode. Maybe she was in school, you know, after school program or something. She was hanging out with the other friends. Because you have to assume maybe... She has other friends other than Nia, but who knows? Uh, early in the episode, like at the beginning, um, um, my second favorite character in the entire universe, that's our baby universe, is that he was getting calls, Levi was getting calls from this pizza place. And he's like, and Tess, who I actually say, from these last three or four episodes, I've started to like her. She's actually kind of grown on her own. She's not 
Like, she's still part Kimmy and part Sam, but she's, like, grown on her own. So, I finally can see a difference between those three. So, good job. Finally see a difference between them. So, Tess says, um, he finally deserves the name Tess. But, uh, she says, Levi, let's, um, let's actually deliver pizzas. And he says, okay, let's do that. And so... Chelsea gets in on it, and she's like, I'm the only one who could blah, 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 and blah, blah, since I'm the adult here. And and this reminds me of that episode in Friends where um, Monica was like, um, Monica was like selling these candies, and everybody wanted a piece. Even Joey, he's like, you better give me a piece of that candy. The only difference is, that, um, instead of, Chelsea let the people into the house. Monica didn't. It was like banging on the door. Let us in. We want the candy. And Chelsea's like, oh. This. And this is how she messages the chill grill about, I'm not ever letting a restaurant ever come in my house again. What is going on? We're waiting for the candy. Bring out the candy. Yeah, lady, give us candy. <laughs> Joey. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Wouldn't you candy? Okay, guys, the candy is coming. I just need another 15 minutes for the chocolate to cool. Ray, thank goodness you're here. Listen, I turned our apartment into a restaurant, but I can't keep up with the orders, and our diners are angry, and our staff is up way past their bedtimes. Yo, Red, I got orders dying in the window. Oh, no. Listen, Ray, I, I think it's time I get a job. I just I don't think it should be running a restaurant in our living room. Yeah, probably not. Listen, okay, I'm in way over my head. Can you help me? It could be like old times, you know, with your dad at the Chill Grill. I saw, wait, they want pizza, and then that episode of Friends, they want candy. Similarities. And they also did another Full House reference. Or at least that's what I thought. I, I kind of forgot what it was. But it's like another Full House reference? Ish. It's like, come on, let's just do a crossover already. Um... So, yeah, that's, this episode was good. I look forward to, you know, Liz Anya to return. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's it. 8.5 out of 10. And look forward to when I do what I want in Ravis on Season 2. So, into the Season one's finale of Ravis Home. You're a nasty little bugger. Boop.